Hi, this is Adam Ashba, president of Ashmont Realty. And first and foremost, I just want to say congratulations. Congratulations that you've acknowledged in your real estate career that you have the time, the energy, and most importantly, the love to help another agent become a successful real estate agent here at Ashmont Realty. Not everyone could do that. Believe me, they can't. So it's an honor that you're part of this experience with Ashmont Realty. Now, some of the things that we're going to go over are really important to me personally. Okay. We're not going to get deep in the weeds today and go over all this detail, but we're going to go over some really high level stuff that's important to not only our company, but for agents. That's going to help them to know they're being supported, acknowledged, and loved. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So there's going to be three things that we're going to cover today. One, which is the most important, is know your why. Two is help HR with the onboarding process. And the third thing, which is probably the most difficult, is going to be keep your agents engaged and accountable. Let's talk about the most important of the three, and that's the why. The why is the foundation of everything. It's the foundation of why we get out of bed every day, why we do anything, our goals, our agendas, our intentions. Okay, I have taught hundreds of not thousands of agents over my career. And the thing that is different amongst all of them, because every agent's unique, is their why. When you onboard an agent to mentor and support, the first thing I need you to do, it's imperative. It is why are you doing this? Why? That's simple of a question. That one word. And that one word solidifies your intentions and it shows that agent that you care about while they're, why they're here, what their goals are, and what's important to them. Over the years, I've had agents that want to be multimillionaires that have their own TV show, all the way to someone who is just wanting to do it part-time to put a little extra money in their account to take their kids to Disney World. That is what I want you to know about each and every one of your agents that you're mentoring. So the second we're, we're going to discuss is my least favorite for sure. And that is help support HR and recruiting with the onboarding paperwork. Now, this, ugh, I hate paperwork and I know you do. It sucks, right? But depending on what state you live in, there is required paperwork by the Division of Real Estate as well as the state of Ohio. So we want to make sure we follow all those rules properly. So when your new agent that you'll be mentoring starts to onboard, just do me a, a solid favor and help them with that paperwork. Now, I don't want you to physically help them do it. All I want you to do is to educate your new agent that you're going to be getting sometimes a few different pieces of paper uh, that they're going to have to sign. OK, now we're again, we're 100 percent paperless. They can do it all on their smartphone, but please let them know and help support them, knowing that they're going to be getting a lot of paperwork that they're going to need to sign in a, a timely manner. So, again, just help support HR and onboarding with that process. So let's talk about the third and last which unfortunately, guys, is the most difficult. Real estate is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And it doesn't take months to become successful at real estate. 
it becomes years. And the hardest part of my job as being a broker and an instructor is to keep people on the road to success. I tell new agents all the time when they join Ashmont Realty is I can put you on the correct path. I can put you in a Ferrari on the right track. But if you don't put the pedal to the metal and shift those gears, you'll never be successful. That is true with everything in life. You get out what you put into it. And real estate is no exception. Now, when we talk about keep your mentees that you're mentoring accountable, that comes down to just a couple basic things. Is one, make sure your agents stay focused on their why. If their goal and their why was they wanted to close two deals a year, so they can put their kids through college, keep them on that road of two deals a year. That means, and I want you to do this with all sincerity, you need to be checking in with your people that you're mentoring at least once a week. That might be a phone call, that might be a text message, that might be going out for coffee or having drinks, okay? We try to do a lot of wonderful activities that keep the bond of agents together. But as we grow, it makes it harder and harder. And that's why Ashmont Realty is so successful in keeping the camaraderie. Because every agent that's a mentor are rewarded, and we'll talk about that next, financially on the success of the people that they mentor. So check in with your mentees every week. Depending on the mentee, they might like a phone call. They might like a visit. They might like a text message. Make sure they're doing okay. Make sure they don't have any questions. If you stumble upon something that's interesting pertaining to real estate or a quick change, uh, something with the MLS or an update, let your mentees know. Let them know. Hey, I saw this. Check it out. You might be interested. Make sure that your people that you're training are attending our meetings. If you're noticing that they didn't attend a meeting, just check in with them. Make sure they're okay. What makes a good agent successful is all up here. The ones that are the most balanced with work and life, the one that has their head in the game, they're, they're not being off kilter or, you know, their world's not being dented by personal issues. They're staying on the path to success and they're keeping it slow and steady. And the only way you're ever going to know that is by communicating and checking in on them and make sure they know you care. So again, check in with those agents once a week. Make sure they're up to date on any pertinent information that you stumble upon. If you find a quick tip or trick that might that work for you and that might work for them, let them know because you get financially compensated for it. So with that being said, you poured out so much energy into your agents. Now, what's it in it for you? Well, that's the million dollar question. Obviously, becoming a mentor or a trainer of any sorts, it has to be in here. It's not for everybody, believe me, like I mentioned before. It's something that you feel in your heart and your soul that you feel rewarded by helping others. But let's cut through the BS too. We understand you can't have hundreds and thousands of Mother Teresa's mentoring other agents from the goodness of their own heart. It doesn't make logical sense. So when we started the company, 
we realize very quickly that our best teachers, leaders are within the company. But you can't expect people to help people all the time without some sort of compensation. So that is why every person that you bring on Ashmont Realty and you help them mentor and teach, every deal that those mentorees get completed, you get rewarded. Every single one, when they receive their commission check, you receive a portion of that commission that is part of the broker split, okay? I'm gonna show you a real quick video that I, I think it's really cool, but it's just a char cartoon characters breaking down how this works. This is why Ashmont Realty is one of the fastest growing real estate companies. The simple fact is we reinvest our money, not in frivolous overheads, such as brick and mortar, unnecessary office staff, we invest it back into our agents. We don't give them stock options. Agents want cash. They want to take that cash and invest it into whatever they want to. Could be kids' college. It could be crypto. It could be gold, silver, savings account. Agents don't like hoops and hurdles and red tape. Only get commission referrals if you have seven agents you bring in and they sell a certain amount of houses. That's ridiculous. That's a bait and switch. Agents don't want stock options. That's just a way to pump up the stock of a company who only makes people like me richer. That's it. Our agents need compensated. And we're going to go over that right now. So stay with me. Watch this short little clip and I'll be right back. Hello, so you're interested in learning more about sharing and the success of agents that you refer to Ashmont Realty in a revenue sharing program. By now, you understand that Ashmont Realty was created for realtors by realtors to give us all the tools that we need to be successful without the expensive overhead, such as brick and mortar offices, excessive staffing, as well as full-time recruiters. We feel that our agents are our best spokespeople and with that in mind, you should be rewarded in the success of any agent that you have directly responsible and spreading the word on how great of a revolution this is. You have Bill, who is a current agent at Ashmont. He refers a fellow realtor friend by the name of Mary. Mary decides to join Ashmont Realty and is an active agent. Mary sells $2 million in real estate in her first year. At a 3% commission rate, Mary earns a gross commission of $60,000. Mary, like every agent at Ashmont, is at an 80-20 split until they achieve a cap of $15,000 of commission paid. Out of the $60,000 that Mary receives in gross commissions, $12,000 of that is paid to Ashmont Realty. Since Bill referred Mary to Ashmont, Bill receives 20% or $2,400 of Mary's commission split that was paid to the company. Reminder: Mary keeps all of her net commissions. The money that is paid to Bill comes out of the brokerage split. Now, let's say Mary refers an agent to the brokerage and her name is Tina. Tina, like Mary, sells $2 million in real estate in her first year. Mary will collect 20% of the brokerage commission, or $2,400. And not only that, Bill receives 10% of the commission paid to the brokerage from Tina's production, as well, in the amount of $1,200. As long as an agent is employed with our brokerage, they will continue to receive revenue share with the company. There is no red tape, minimums. Even if Bill or Mary never sell a house throughout the year, they still receive revenue share from any agent that they refer to the company. Sharing in the success of other agents has created a culture of support and growth within our community to make us the best real estate brokerage in America. Well, thank you for watching this quick episode about how to become a better mentor here at Ashmont. Being a mentor is not for everybody. It is very difficult, but one thing I want to stress is there's nothing more rewarding and financially deserving than being a mentor. We've structured our company in cutting out so much overhead and so much fat that are completely unnecessary that doesn't help our agents. And one thing that was loud and clear with all the students that I teach as well as new agents was they want to be compensated financially, not with stock options or red tape. 
It is cash. This can be very lucrative. I would rather see agents, instead of working another part-time or full-time job, becoming mentors and receiving residual income without leaving their own home. So thank you again for watching this video. I'm very excited and honored that you are here at Ashmont Realty. And together we can create a community and a revolution in real estate that's going to help thousands of agents nationwide become better and more profitable. So thanks again. This is Adam Ashma, president of Ashmont Realty. And remember, be a lion king or queen, and we'll see you all very soon.